If you've taken a good look at your power bills recently, you'll see that there's been an increase, quite a significant increase in some cases. The diesel fuel doesn't have the same heating value, and so you don't get as much power out of a barrel diesel. And so, and then the engine at Blue Hill is not as efficient uh, as the engine at Clifton Pier. So once again, the, the, the reverse on those three components yields to a higher fuel charge that customers are having to pay. The energy grid powers your day to day. Electricity is costly and it is vulnerable. So what happens when the grid goes out? If you're in a developing world that does not have a grid, you don't need to build that grid. We remove the need for massive scale, large, ugly power plants to a very sleek looking small box that can be next to your office, your commercial building, your neighborhood, right there where you need it. Who is gonna be the future Bloom customer? The future Bloom customers are customers who today don't have access to electricity. They are people who either can't afford it or have absolutely no access to it. Just as a personal computer changed the world, just as a cell phone changed the world, a personalized electricity generator is going to change the world. The core of our technology, everyone kept asking, What's that magic sauce? What's that magic technology? Where does it go? Well, I think I'm going to disappoint you all. I'm simply going to tell you the core of our technology simply is sand. Available in plenty in multiple continents sand, in ocean beaches. From this sand you get zirconium oxide, something that we use. Again, affordable, available in plenty. And it has a particular property, a scientific property, that allows us to make a fuel cell. Again, folks, 1980s patent. We didn't have to invent this. Credit to Walter Nernst. What we did with that, though, is we perfected the technology to create what I want to introduce to you the Bloom Energy Fuel Cell. A flat piece of sand. Flat piece of sand. Inexpensive materials. But this is the core of the technology. 